one sister was complaining like yani it was a huge issue because her mom was swearing by Allah that she'll never forgive her if she doesn't take a riba loan to complete her studies and to get an apartment. The problem with the women, usually, when it comes to marriage, Muslim, the Muslim Ummah, they will talk about this with their mom. And it's a bit of a sensitive thing to talk about this with the father in so many cultures, right? Unless the family is very tight and she's like daddy's girl, right? And, but even then she'll be shy to talk to him about these issues. So she'll go to mother. The older generation, what happens is I've seen this almost as a, I think it's significantly uh, statistically enough to say that there's a pattern. The mother might have married, okay, but she's not happy in the marriage. And she has taken that sacrifice to stay for the sake of the community, the appearances, the culture, and so on, right? So they sacrificed. And alhamdulillah, you know, as Omar Khattab said, not every marriage is built upon love, but it's built upon taqwa. So this is their taqwa, they fear Allah. Khalas, they stick with their husbands, they're committed, they have um, allegiance to the family, and they sacrifice their happiness, let's say. Today is almost all about just, no, I want to be happy. It's the I, the I culture. Me, myself, and I. So the woman will project the fear and the failure on the daughter. So she'll, she'll basically say, don't do what I've done. Maybe not directly like that, but she'll say, look, no, 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 don't, don't rush. Live your life. Like there's mothers, like the daughters, imagine now, the daughters are having a revival of Islam, starting to wear niqab, starting to pray. She said, my mom is telling me, what are you doing? You're being extremist. Go live your life. Like a mother should be protecting your daughter. She's telling her daughter, go live your life. Why don't you travel first? What do you mean travel? So she means travel alone. Why don't you travel first a little bit? Why don't you get a job? One sister was complaining, she's like, and it was a huge issue because her mom was swearing by Allah that she'll never forgive her if she doesn't take a riba loan to complete her studies and to get an apartment for herself. She's saying, you have to have this job. You need to take the riba loan. I talked to Sheikh so-and-so in the UK who said it's okay. And it was like an Islamic debate, but I had to like respond to them with delil as to how this is the sheikh is wrong. And the sister saying, I don't feel like I want to do this. But my mom is saying, you're my daughter. By Allah, you have to listen to me. If you disobey me, Allah will be angry with you. I said, very simply refuting this. There is no obedience to the creation in disobedience to the creator. This is the qaida. This is the rule. The parent, as I said, might have had a... They sacrificed their life, but they're not happy. And now there's a new generation and she doesn't want her daughter to go through the same thing. She feels already, she sets up the daughter. This is wrong. You're gonna fail in this marriage, even though she didn't get married yet. But she feels you're gonna have the same experience as me. Don't be as gullible as me and commit so early. You can live your life. Because she wish now, after let's say 30 years of marriage, of regret of not being connected to this man, but just for the sake of culture, she wishes maybe that she would have done her studies and she would have had her own apartment or riba, for example, to be independent. Now, obviously she's being injected with this kind of mentality now. And then she's projecting it onto her daughter. Because she would have said, well, if I would have had my own job, and my own apartment, Oriba, I would have divorced this guy. I would have not stayed in this. But because I'm attached to him and I'm dependent on him, I was never able to do that. So don't make the same mistake as me. So they set him up for failure because what they're being primed in their mind. And this is very dangerous. Even just that discussion can really cause doubts. And now you have this, what is it called? Gamophobia or whatever they call it, right? It's like fear of marriage. Imagine that. It's an actual term. 
where a lot of the women are, I'm not going to get married. Or I've seen how my mom was miserable or she was not happy. I never see my parents hug or, you know, be together. I'm scared. I don't want to end up like that. And then the mother comes and says, look, my daughter, live your life. Uh, at 30, you get married. At 32, don't worry. Don't be as, as a fool as I. So wait a second. So you've had, mashallah, three, four children, beautiful children. You raised them nice. They fear Allah now. And now you're telling him after you've done all that work and that sacrifice, you're erasing everything, bro. At 50, you're erasing all those 20 years or 30 years of hard work. Your children were protected by Allah. They ask you to marry. They want to follow your path in sacrificing and, and you're telling them, nope. Why? Because you at 50 are still being influenced by society. The society is showing you what your life could have been if you would have cut this loser. Maybe it's a loser. I don't know. But see the danger of this, these doubts and these like shubahat and these waswasa. I mean, this is waswasa from shaitan, man. Mothers. They don't teach their daughters how to, how to cook. Like one, one sister was saying, every time I try to go help my mom in the kitchen, get out of here. I got to do it my way. No, have patience, teach her. Let her burn a few, you know, plates and whatever, break a few things. That's how they learn. But when there's that willingness, uh, you can't, if you miss that, that window of the willingness, that's when you're going you're gonna to shut them down. If you like this video and it was beneficial, please make sure you like and subscribe and let us know in the comments if you like the new style and it is something that you want to see more. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.